Hello, my friend Jeff Pro here with week number 16 of Napoleon Hill's A Year of Growing Rich. And this week's is titled Use Your Personal Initiative. It would be difficult to name a more destructive human habit than procrastination, putting off until tomorrow what should have been done last week. Personal initiative is the only cure for procrastination. Successful people are those who think and move on their personal initiative. There are two forms of action, that in which one engages from choice and that in which one indulges only when forced to do so. We live in a country that abounds in privilege and personal freedoms available to rich and poor alike. It is perhaps the most important factor in our system of free enterprise. The privilege of personal initiative was considered of great importance that is specifically guaranteed to every citizen in the Constitution of the United States. And it is of such great value that every well-managed business recognizes the properly and properly rewards individuals who use their personal initiative to better the company. When Andrew Carnegie was young, was a young clerk in the office of the division superintendent of the Pennsylvania Railroad Company in Pittsburgh, he came to the office one morning and discovered that there had been a bad train wreck just outside the city. He tried de desperately to reach the superintendent by telephone, but was unsuccessful to do so. Finally, in desperation, he did something which he knew mean his automatic discharge because of the company's strict rules. Re recognizing that every minute of delay would cost the railroad a fortune, he wired instructions to the conductor, signing the boss's name. When the superintendent came to his desk several hours later, he found Carne Carnegie's resignation and an explanation of what he had done. The day passed and nothing happened. The next day, Carnegie's resignation was sent back to him with these words written in red ink across the face of the letter, resignation refused. Several days later, his boss called Car Carnegie into his office and said, young man, there are two kinds of people who never get ahead or amount to anything. One is the fe fellow who will do not what he is told, and the other is the fellow who will not do anything more than he is told. In this instance, the boss found Carnegie more valuable than the railroad's policies. Several years ago, George Steff, S -T -E -F -E -K, Steff of Chicago was convalescing at a veteran's hospital. As he lay there, he got an idea, a simple one that anyone could have conceived. But the important thing was that Stevick acted upon it as soon as he got out of the hospital. It paid off handsomely for him. What Stevick did was find a use for the blank pieces of cardboard laundries used to stiffen shirts they had laundered. Stevick sold advertising space on the cardboards. As a result, he could sell the cardboards to the laundries 30% cheaper and provided advertising to new medium to reach prospects. George Stevick built American Sheepboard Advertising Company into a thriving business. Clarence Sanders of Memphis, Tennessee, so a long line of people waiting to serve themselves in what was then a, type, a new type of restaurant, a cafeteria. He put his imagination to work and came up with a plan to adapt the self-service idea to the grocery business. When he explained his idea to his employer, a local grocer, he was told that he was paid to pack and deliver groceries and that he should not waste his time on foolish, impractical ideas. Saunders quit his job and carried out his plan under the name of Piggly Wiggly Stores. He made millions from his idea, the forerunner of today's modern supermarkets. By giving us absolute control over our power to think, the Creator no doubt intended that we should use that prerogative through our own initiative. 
the overworked alibi of the procrastinator, I haven't had time, has probably caused more failures than all other alibis combined. The people who get ahead and make a place for themselves always find time to move on their own initiative in any direction necessary for their advancement or benefit. So there you have it. Day or week number 16, use your personal in initiative from Napoleon Hills, a year of growing rich. My friend, make it a great day and I will see you again next week.